I feel like I look like Big Bird right now. If you just stopped now, you could have a Big Bird look if you'd like. Welcome back to my channel. I got a new setup for filming. I am no longer in my bathroom, thank goodness. But instead of seeing that teal shower curtain, now you're going to be seeing these curtains in my room. I have my makeup table set up behind me and natural light to do my makeup in typically, but that doesn't look very good when filming because it's cloudy today. Hopefully we'll get some shots with natural light though in other videos. Today I want to go ahead and do that sunset eye that I wanted to do with that same palette, Take Me Back to Brazil from BH Cosmetics. I've really been looking forward to doing this. So I'm not wearing any foundation today. Uh, it's hot and muggy outside and I don't like to wear foundation every day. I'm going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette to create this look. I went ahead and zoomed you in. In case you didn't see my last video, these are the colors that come in the palette. I do think they are very tiny eyeshadow pans. If you watched my last video, you know that this set came with seven of these brushes. I love it. They do sell these separately, I looked, and you can go ahead and get those. I think they were $9.99, so I did get a deal with buying the eyeshadow palette together with the brushes. I don't see that set anymore online, but I think they did pair a different palette with other brushes. So you can still get some sort of deal, just not the one that I got. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with some yellow at the top. I've already put on uh, some concealer and set my eyes, and I've done it all the way around like I always do. I used the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind that's what I normally wear when I go out is just some concealer and I set it with powder so it doesn't crease. I ran out to the grocery store with my husband so not really anyone I was trying to impress at the grocery store. They have a nice mustard orange in the top row as well so I'm going to use that further down in the crease to use it as my transition from the yellow to the oranges. I just now realized you may be able to hear my dog crunching on food over there. <laughs> oh gosh, I apologize. So now we're looking very yellow. Let's go ahead and move on to orange. And I'm going to place that all over the lid. I'm trying to get it a little higher to, to blend into that yellow. I feel like I look like Big Bird right now. <laughs> like the orange feet of Big Bird and the yellow feathers. If you just stopped now, you could have a Big Bird look if you'd like. No. I'm gonna switch brushes to the BH Cosmetics 104 and I like the angled head on this one. It is still fluffy so I feel like it um, blends a little more but it's not as big and thick as that blending brush I was using. So I'm going to take a darker orange and tap off the excess. And I'm going to apply this further back and into the crease. And do it on the other side. I still look like Big Bird. Just throwing that out there. This is the Big Bird tutorial. If you would like to look like Big Bird, click on this video. I think that'll get me more views. I don't think so either. Now, there's only one red in this palette, which I'm really surprised. There are pinks, purples, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, teals, even a gold, but there is one red. And I'm gonna take this and do the lash line, run it, on that lash line and in the crease because I always like that V to just draw my eye out and make it look longer. Did I say that I switched brushes to the 105? Like the pencil brush in the set. So you really can't blend with that pencil brush so I'm gonna go back in with the, this is 101 right? Yes, the 101 and just try to blend it all together. And now that I've said Big Bird, I feel like I hate 
the yellow on my eye. I really do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, try to make that look less yellow by taking the mustard yellow and then some orange. And just try to blend it into that because I'm not digging it. Why did I like psych myself out by saying big bird? I don't know. Let me just stare at you all and not the, mar the mirror and do my makeup. That sounds like a great idea. No. I think that helped a little. I do want more red. So we're gonna go back in. With more red. I really do wish there was like a lighter red I could kind of transition into. And I'm gonna pull some more orange towards the inner corner. Again, trying to get that yellow to be masked somewhat. I am liking that a lot more. I'm gonna take my smudger brush, the 103 by BH Cosmetics, and go into white just to highlight the brow. I got it in my eyebrow. I'm gonna take that pencil brush again, and I'm gonna go in with orange and smudge it along the lower lash line and try to connect it with the top eye. I'm doing most of the lash line, just not taking it into that inner corner. And then I'm gonna take the red and just do the outer one third of that lower lash line. I'm gonna try to connect the red up here as well. I'm gonna take the smudger again and take that same white that I highlighted my brow bone with and run it at the inner corner. Do a little inner corner highlight. Before, when I played around with this, I had it more red. So I'm gonna take the 102 brush and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take some of my Project Beauty set and spray that I got from the BoxyCharm box and wet it. Oh my gosh, I forgot what a dense mist that is. I sprayed it twice and it's like dripping. That was not the setting spray to choose. I'm just gonna apply it on the very bottom of my lid, very to the lower part of my lid. I'm just gonna take the blender brush one more time Clean it up. All right. And I'm gonna go pop on some lashes. No, I am not. That's a different video way down the line. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and my mascara and show you kind of the finished product. Be right back. Here is the Sunset Eye with black eyeliner. And I tight lined my waterline with Scandal Eyes, Scandal Eyes, Scandal Eyes by Rimmel. And it's in nude, it's waterproof. I got a new eyeliner for the top. I got the Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable Eyeliner Crayon. You know, these are my favorite, and black is black. And it's black. I like it a lot. I did a more exaggerated dramatic wing because I thought this look needed it and I used my voluminous lash paradise by L'Oreal I have a problem now I need to throw out all my other mascaras because this is the greatest mascara ever invented I am obsessed with it and then I did the BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick it came this is Serena. This reminds me a lot of Nudist Peach, the liquid catsuit. And this one feels really good on the lips. A little tacky. It's definitely had time to dry down. 
just like the slightest, slightest bit tacky, but not as drying on the lips as the liquid catsuit. I have pictures of behind the scenes when I filmed in my bathroom on my Instagram channel, and I'm gonna go ahead and post pictures of my new makeup table and some of the decorations I've done. It's a work in progress. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you'd like those pictures of like the behind the scenes where I film. It really is comical. Like it is comical how I set up everything. Right now my phone is propped up in my engagement ring um, case. Literally what my husband now used to pop the question is what is holding up my phone to film. If you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe and like, and please, as always, anti-tutorial, leave me comments below on how I can make this look better, uh, some tips and tricks on whatever you think. If it applies to makeup, I want to know your suggestions. Love you all.